If you want to hear my progress on the Partners in Cream project, then stick around. Hi there, it's Elaine, and welcome back, or if it's your first time here, welcome to HMM Makeup, or hmm, makeup. I am ready to give you an update on my favorite panning uh, project that is not one that I'm leading, and it is the Partners in Cream project. This project was uh, basically spearheaded, or is spearheaded, by two lovely YouTubers who love to do a lot of panning of product, and that is Steph Lyons, who is a very good friend of mine, and also Dallin, also known as Outward Processing, also known as blah blah blah. <laughs> I, see, I feel like I'm already repeating myself. Anyway, uh, those two lovely ladies uh, are have uh, appeared on screen already and uh, you can see their their picture and their name and I will definitely have links to their respective channels in the description box below but uh, you can also link on the uh, cards that I have added to this video. I highly recommend going and checking them out because they're both lovely and also have some great content. Now I do have a number of items here in front of me four items total. I'm not going to go over all the grams uh, changes and whatnot. I want to keep this video short, uh, but I will show you the products in question and give you an idea of, of the progress that I've made on all of them and also give you um, a little bit of information on a product that piggybacked with the other ones and it wasn't supposed to, but it explains some of my lack of progress on uh, another front. So anyway, if I'm cryptic, yeah, it's intentional. <laughs> Let's just get into the overall set of products. I'll start with the smallest one, and it is this little guy. It's the Tartiste Pro Glow Highlighter. It is a cream highlighter, and it lasts forever. I've had this in my collection for over two years, and no, more than that, since, since early 2019. It's been a long time. Anyway, so I'm trying to finish this guy because it is getting old. And, uh, and I have um, quite a bit done. I'm just going to see how far I can push it. Yeah, it is, it is uh, folded to as far back as it, it can go. Um, and I do really like it. I put it, I have it on my cheeks right now. That's why I have very glowy cheeks along with having been outside gardening. And I do have a little bit of dirt here and there on my face. So my apologies if I'm looking like a dirty mess. Um, you know, the weeds, don't wait for anyone. Uh, okay, so anyway, I have uh, made some little bit of progress on this. I think it's 0 0.07 grams or something. Anyway, you'll see it in the progress pictures. I'll put the um, the number, the, the actual uh, timestamp of where the progress pictures starts. Or start. I can't speak today. Uh, now let's go into this one, which was a... Um, product, a palette, I guess, of products, lip products to be specific. I added or rolled it in to this project last month. And uh, <laughs> the only one that I used was this one. And I think I used it twice. And it really goes well with the lipstick that I'm wearing right now. And, uh, and I really like this color. I actually like this entire palette. But I ended up panning a couple of other lip products and so I just wasn't focused on this palette unfortunately and let me show you the two culprits that made me sideline this palette not that I'm going to stop using this palette it's just a a good reminder for me that uh, this needs to be a priority and I really do want to have at least one pan for the next update because that lip palette is getting pretty old now what I have on my lips Part of it is this lipstick and there's a gloss over top. Uh, the gloss is not in this uh, uh, project, so I'm not going to talk about it, but I do want to talk about this lipstick because this lipstick is the big reason I didn't get to the palette. This one and another one, like I said, there's a couple of products. But for some reason, I became enamored with this lipstick and decided after wearing it a couple of times that I wanted to pan it. And so it ended up being a panning focus for me for uh, this project that I didn't expect. 
and I am so close. You can see why I was ignoring that palette because I thought I could possibly finish this lipstick for this update and not overly using it, just using it every day as I would reapply lipstick when I eat or whatever. And I really like this shade. I really like the formula. Clinique is a nice brand. There's no problem with it. And uh, so I will have it finished for sure by the next update um, and we'll be able to focus back on the lip palette as I also finish up this other lip product that I will show you momentarily. Now this next product, and if I'm looking like I'm set up differently, I did have to change the battery in my video camera. Uh, but this next product is the product that is the signature product in my Partners in Cream project because I keep refilling this quad from Cover FX. It's just great packaging. It's got a mirror and um, it has a mirror, I should say. And it's just a really easy quad to refill. So what I did do, and you'll be able to see in the progress pictures, is that I have made a huge amount of progress in this pan. And I have also used uh, this pan uh, toward the end of this month. Uh, and I'm going to target it more uh, in the coming month. Uh, it's a a color that's really pretty good for summer. Uh, it was a little bit light during the, the winter, but it uh, looks pretty good in the summer. So these two ended up getting a fair amount of love. This one was completely ignored because it's pretty much the same uh, product as this one. And this one I use on my cheeks every single time I do my makeup, and I do my makeup most days. And you would swear I am not using it, but I promise I'm using it every single day. It is the Joe Fresh Peach Dream Blush. It came in a, in a stick. And it's like the product that will never die. I don't know when I'm ever going to hit pan on this thing. I keep seeing, um, I, I see that it's it, it has a dip in the middle. I hope you can see that. Um, but it just doesn't feel like it's going down at any uh, decent rate. It's, it's unbelievable how little product it takes to have a rosy cheek. It's just amazing. Um, so for me, as far as the next update, I do think that these two pans will be close to, to done. I definitely don't think I'll hit pan yet on this one, but I really do hope that one or both of these are almost uh, done by the next update because I would like to roll in some new products that I'm trying to uh, to pan in my collection. And this quad is great for this panning project because no matter what's going on, I know I can open up that quad and I have products that I need to be working on. Um, so it, it's, um, it's a really great, I guess, project holder, right? Because there are four pans uh, arguably three of them that are active, one that is in the waiting, the other brown pan that I obviously haven't touched, uh, but still three pans out of four that are very active. It's a great kind of a um, packaging to have in as a, a project. So let's uh, recap a little bit. I expect to be done with this lipstick, this rogue extra product in my Partners in Cream. I expect to have that done uh, very early in the coming month. Uh, this palette, I want to have finished at least one lipstick in this palette. I can just focus on it and use it on a regular basis. They are very creamy lip products and they're light lip products, so they are perfect for the summer. And so I think it is a very good time to be using it. For the Tartiste Pro Glow, I will keep using it virtually on the daily and that should help me uh, to get further down um, in this product and hopefully Gosh, I would really, really love to have this almost done by the year end. And I'm saying almost because I don't think that there's a, that I have a chance in you know what to, to actually finish this highlighter before the end of the year. But I would love to see a significant amount of progress. And there's a loose highlighter that I'm using right now, a Buxom highlighter. I talked about it in my Pen That Palette video. I'll put that video right there. Um, and um, it's kind of displaced this one somewhat. And I, I think that as I finish up that loose highlighter, I will double down on this particular cream highlighter. It's beautiful, but sometimes there are competing products. And finally, yes, this guy uh, will be a very big 
focus again and like I said these two pans here that don't have a huge amount of product I have them in my sights and I will do my darndest to get them close as close to finished as possible for the next update. Uh, I will have uh, all the deltas for weights uh, showing up in the progress pictures and I'll wrap it up at the end. So that's it. You know the number of grams difference better than I do at this point uh, because I have not done the tallying. I have not edited this video as I film it. Um, but I have to say this is a really, really fun project. It is, uh, it's doing two things. It's entertaining and it also gets me, gets us to use uh, cream based products in our collection. They do go bad first. Uh, and I think it's a it's a genius idea for a project. If you haven't joined the project yet, I don't think there's ever a, a good or a bad time. Just go hop in if you are ready. Um, ready, just, just hop in, just hop in. Three or four products, you're good to go. Uh, and it's a kind of a rolling style. So you finish something, you just roll something else in, just like I rolled in the, the lipstick, it's not a big deal. It's great if we can roll in things that we really want to use and uh, and it's just a reminder to do so. So uh, thank you very much to Steph and Dalin. I really appreciate this project and I um, hope you enjoyed the progress pictures and I can't wait to update you next month because I think it's going to be a good one. With that, I will say thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it every single time and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. But for now, take care.